It is day 29 of Vita, and now I will do a video comparing Snappies and Sheets breakfast pizzas. Snappies is better. That was it. Some of you may recall that uh, a while back Martin's had a sale on a bunch of bacon themed things, and I bought several bacon themed things, and I did videos on some of them, but others I also did videos of but haven't posted them yet until now. <sighs> Guess it's time to finally try these. Bacon! And Cheddar Franks. Oh yeah. So while the pan's heating up, why don't I compare bacon seasoning salt to original flavor bacon salt. I can smell it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I probably need a palate cleanser. Long-time subscribers are familiar with this routine, and I'd stick in the stock footage if this wasn't edited on an iPhone. Probably a way to do that. Maybe. <clears throat> Wonder if these are still any good. How can you tell if something this bland has gone bad? Ugh. I really should throw them away. Or at least my palate's cleansed. That really did land on the floor. Which is not actually self-cleaning. Mm. Ah. Tastes like bacon bits only with all the worst parts kicked up to 11. And I just put some on these sweet potato fries and let's see what they still taste like crushed bacon bits. I'm a threat! No you're not! <laughs> yeah I'll stick with uh, J&D's bacon salt thank you very much. Cameras here. I shouldn't have run up with these. I hope I'm not accidentally cutting the hot dog. Nope. And I think I'll put one of these ballpark cheese franks on as a control. Okay, they're done, and they're also um, less flammable or burnable than the ballpark Franks, so, um, look! Product placement! Actually, I just picked it because it was less dull looking than most of my plates. That, and I want to stick it to Penn State just a little bit. Um, I just turn this off, huh? And here's a little trick to dissipate the heat and um, humidify your house. And now, of course, the actual taste part of the tasting. Um, it's a really good angle, isn't it? Whoops. Actually, let's get a cross section. If possible. I'll get the cross section now! Ah, <sighs> well, even that was kind of. There's a. I think I should have cooked them longer. It's a problem with this thing. Wonder how well this thing is, of course, the ballpark cheese frame. No, it's cooked thoroughly. I think, um, I think these contain more solid meat. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's an actual piece of bacon in there. Mmm. Definitely should have put them a bit longer, though. In fact... Okay, let's see here, one-handed, right? Hmm. 
that's a little toughened. Um, yeah, I had it in there for nearly a minute. I think um, should have stuck it 30 seconds, but uh, well, again, let's. Um, ooh, cheese looks melted, but oh, yeah, it's oozing out there. Mm. I definitely should have cooked it longer in the pan, but uh, maybe covered it. I think it's just more dense than the ballpark drink. It's rather good. Well, it's actual bacon in it. Mm. Oh, yeah. I might try another video cooking these in a different manner. See how that turns out. But let's face it, deep frying everything is good. Ooh. Put on your 3D glasses now. I'm kidding. Ooh. Okay, let's try pan frying these again, this time for a longer period of time. And in a cast iron pan. Oh, God, this is heavy. Put some bacon fat in there. Make sure to continue the motif. See that? They're already starting to brown. Here, here, can you see that? I'm going to turn it down a bit, maybe just halfway here. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, well, it's already st starting to wrinkle. Maybe they're supposed to wrinkle? I don't know. Try to cook the sides that haven't already been cooked. Oh, oh, I see the, yeah, it's starting to blister. That's, um, Probably means they should be um, taken off and eaten. Oh, whoa, is that? Yeah, it's, that's burst there. Um, yeah, I should have planned this out a little better. I... Hmm. Cooked fully through here, at least. Hmm. Hmm. I think I just have to realize that the skin on these is tougher than on... Some hot dogs. Casing, whatever. Mm. Good, but well, I'd say you can hardly taste the bacon. I can taste it there. A little too salty. I never thought I would say those words in relationship to bacon. Mm. Of course, there is one other way I haven't tried cooking them. Broiling! This needs two hands. Wait, what the hell are these things doing on here? So now I sit here and wait. Ooh, can you hear that? That sounds... Hope it doesn't sound burnt. What does burnt sound like? Uh, not enough. I don't know. Not quite. Maybe... Yet, maybe there's no way to um, cook them thoroughly without causing them to blister. <clears throat> oh look, this thing's broken again, so I'll have to prop the camera up. So, let's see here. Um, yep. Mm. Yeah, I think these just aren't going to completely live up to their promise. Still good. Still too salty. And this is coming from me. I wonder if I could spit roast them over my furnace. Nah.
You know, I don't think I've used this thing yet. Oh, look at that. Uh, kind of matches the theme we've got going here. Oh, that actually worked. I was trying for a blooper. Okay, well, we'll set it for one minute. Let's watch it. Let's check how it is after 20 seconds. Ooh. Already kind of. Let's see. 15 seconds. Mm. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, also I should probably frame this, you know. Look at that in case that. Yeah. I dropped that about one millisecond after I turned the camera off and, you yeah. know. So it's leaking. So after 45 seconds in the microwave, the thing's kind of wrinkled. It's, uh, yeah. It was at least cooked thoroughly. Like warm thoroughly, they're already cooked. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That. Well, I guess that's actual bacon. Hmm. Can you see that? Uh, I can't do this with a fork. See, actual bacon. In which case, they really shouldn't have salted the hot dog on top of it. It's a pretty certain sure salted. Huh. Okay, I think I've given these enough of a chance. I'm not buying them again. Which brings me to today, April 29th, 2016. I've got one hot dog left and one readily available way to cook it left. Hope that wasn't important. Okay, apparently this is for muffins. In case you want to grill some muffins. Also, yeah, these handles feel like they're made out of aluminum foil. Not just aluminum, aluminum foil. I better stop doing this. I'll probably break them. But before you do that, uh, no. Select time and temperature desired following directions and planning. Okay. Carefully place foods. No, really? Close cover? Wow, I never would have thought of that. I'm running out of sarcasm. Hot dogs, four to five minutes. Cook to 168 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, come on. Following directions in preheating the grill. <sighs> when using gr what? <sighs> I guess is this it? Um. Um. Oh, uh, I guess that's it. Wait, is it on the other side? No, nope. just supposed to be tilted like that. I, I, is that a skew? I don't even know anymore. Um, uh, no, no habla español. Hey, you know what would be a good idea? A table of contents. Maybe there's an index. Um, necesita ayuda. Okay, press power. Five minutes will appear. Okay. Yes, I unplugged it and replugged it, or actually switched it off and back on. And well, let's see. Okay. Five minutes. Got it. And then, um, set desired cooking time, adding five minutes for grill to preheat. Uh -huh. Okay, well, it says four minutes, so I'm add four minutes. And the temperature. Who 
supposed to be 168. The temperature doesn't actually go down. How am I supposed to... Damn. Okay, if it doesn't go below 300, how am I supposed to cook to 168? Okay, allow time for preheat. Do I put the stuff on now? It says... Okay. Considering that the thing has been um, on for several minutes anyway, um, you know, I'm going to... Oh, yeah, this hasn't been... Um, You know, I really should start over to make sure I'm doing this accurately, but at the moment, I don't care. This thing is... Hey, that sounds like it's preheated. What do you think? Yeah. Right. And now all I have to do is stand around here for uh, four minutes and... Okay, let's see here. Well, it's just got some nice lines on it. Um, hmm. You guys think think it's done? How about I turn this thing around? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's cooked through. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. It still seems less tough than I remember it, but that was a while ago. Still kind of tough. Doesn't help that I'm used to skinless wieners, I guess. But, hmm. Huh. Yeah. I think I've cooked this enough different ways to form a definitive opinion that they're disappointing. I'm still gonna eat it, you um, know. Although, ha. Ah. Wow. This is salty even for me. I know I've said that before, but it bears repeating. Yeah, you know what? This tells you the cooking time and to what uh, temperature you're supposed to grill stuff. It doesn't actually say what temperature you're supposed to set it at. I mean, this goes... This goes from 300 to 425, but it doesn't really say which one you're supposed to use. Although it does say that if you're using the mini burger insert, which is um, this thing, I think. It's a different thing, actually. Um, still, if it says if you're um, cooking mini burgers, that you should cook it at uh, 425. So, from now on, I'm going to assume that that's the standard setting for meat. And speaking of which... Five to six minutes. Plus, I should probably give it some time to preheat. Um, right, so... How about I just put it on... Um, 10 minutes and see what happens. Huh? This thing is preheated? Eh, whatever. So I guess it just automatically starts. I didn't really have time to review what I did before. Um, well, if it's blinking, it's probably not preheated yet, I guess. I'll give it a little more time to preheat. Eh, that's probably okay. I like the sound of that. Still don't know if it's actually at that temperature or still preheating. <sighs> what if it's in the troubleshooting? I don't know. And uh, that's the um, fat reducing part they keep bragging about. The fat drips into there. So um, then you can put a straw in it and drink it yourself. Ah, darn. I shouldn't have said that. Now I can't make a joke about it till later. I guess I'm, guess I'm supposed to... Yeah, okay, that's... You know, they really should not paint it to look like metal. Uh, let's see here. You know, actually, that was a bit stupid thing to do because... Uh, can I look underneath? Yeah, okay. Nice nice grill marks, anyway. Um, talking about the actual food. Hmm, hot, hot. Hmm, yeah. Okay. That was too long. I cooked all the juice out of them. In retrospect, it was probably already preheated. I think almost a minimum. Um, hmm. 
need some Worcestershire sauce. It should be salvageable. And I'm not sure which one this is, but let's go for the shortest amount of time just to be safe. Yeah, I forgot to start uh, the camera, but it hasn't been there very long. And, um, yeah. And let's just have a look here before I overdo it. You know, that looks done, so I'm going to... That's it. Framing, framing. Should have gotten a smaller plate. That's done now! Yeah, I think I'll unplug it. Or unplug the thing that it's plugged into. Just gotta... Huh. Bit. Well, let's get a maybe a cross section here. Yeah, I think a bit overdone there. Ah. Hmm. Okay. Pretty good actually. Hmm. But evenly done on both sides at least, but rather overdone overall. Yeah. Um. Well, I didn't pay. Well, let's see. The thing was on sale in Ollie's and had a coupon. But still, at least the plates are removable and immersible. But really, maybe a good thing to have if uh, you don't own a stove or any pots and pans. But otherwise, kind of a waste of space and effort. Okay, that bite, that one bite was pretty good, but. That was because it had a lot of fat on it, despite the machine trying to reduce the fat. Ha! Also, you know what would be good? Something to indicate when it's preheated, instead of just automatically starting with a five-minute timer and telling you it'll be preheated in five minutes. Well, that's great, but what about in between things? I mean, it might be a little too cold to be count as preheated, and then if you cook something at a low temperature and then cook something else at a high temperature... Yeah, you know what? This thing tells you when it's preheated. I'll show you. Yeah. See, when the light goes off, it's preheated to that. Yeah, see? So it is at least at whatever that temperature is. I can't really see it right now, but, um, you know what I mean. No wonder they were trying to unload these at Ollie's. And look at this. That, that is, that is as long as it goes. Look, I am not, ex that, that looks longer than it really is. There. Yeah, I'm not exaggerating. The instruction manual does say that you can buy extenders, but make sure to... Yeah, you know what would have helped? If this thing was long enough to, I don't know, reach the wall. And now I have to wait for this thing to cool down before I can wash it. Uh, a hot pan I can at least put in the sink and run some water on. This thing, um, I don't want to try to remove it until it cools down. Ooh, fat. Mm. Hey, I ended up doing that joke anyway. I hmm. um, wish I would have gotten a little more footage of this, but um, yeah, see how much fat was caught in this thing? Most people would use that as an example of, look how fatty your food is. I'm using it as an example of, no wonder this is so dry. Oh, and the only reason this fat is here is because I poured some of it back on in the hopes of rescuing the poor burger. I just hope my dad doesn't find out about this thing. He loves to cook the juice out of meat. Well, okay, I don't have a waffle iron. Then again, I'm diabetic, so I need to avoid carbohydrates. And if I did get a waffle iron, it would... Yeah, these would be pretty huge waffles, wouldn't they? And I was going to say, I would get one that made round Belgian waffles, not... Good grief, look at this, they're not even... It's just sort of... They're not even symmetrical! Ah! Yeah, um... No amount of condiments and drippy, liquidy condiments are going to... Salvage these burgers. They at very least need to be pan fried in their own fat. 
I don't think even bacon is going to save this. I'm not going to try because I, I don't want to waste the bacon. Probably still eat this. Or at least try. Mm. Well, I tried. And if you'll look there, you'll see the road closed sign. Which, um, if you're just driving and the light is green, um, might be a little difficult to notice. And speaking of which, I should probably turn my blinker off. There, I, I did it off camera. I'm, I'm so good at this.